Backups of your website should never be ignored. How would you feel if one day you logged in or your client did and all of a sudden everything was corrupt, like there was a new WordPress update or your plugin or something like that? Or maybe someone has changed something on the website and you weren't fully aware of what they were doing, or maybe you've done it as well. And that's it, you've lost your website. I wouldn't be happy and neither would your client. Backups are super, super important. But wouldn't you love to have a tool that not only did that for you for free, but also if you wanted to migrate your website to another server, you could do that again for free and also restore your website. And here's the great thing. What if you wanted to have a staging site as well? And here's the tool, the WP Vivid all-in-one backup and migration plugin. You can use this for free and it is super easy to use. Let me go through it. When you're in WordPress, go to plugins, go to add new, search for WP Vivid and there it is. Just install and activate that and you'll be taken to the settings page. Now instantly, you could hit backup now and backup your database and your files. Please bear in mind that whenever you backup, don't just do the files, you want the back end as well because that will contain your plugins and loads of other settings as well. But before you do that, I would strongly recommend you set up some remote storage. What do I mean by that? If you just back up now, we're hitting the button, it's gonna stick it on your server, your hosting provider. But what if there's a problem there as well and you can't retrieve the backup? It can happen. So that's why the WP Vivid have given you the ability to do remote storage. It sounds more complicated than it is, but it is super simple. All you gotta do is decide where is that backup gonna go. Dropbox, Google Drive, and any of the other areas over here. I tend to go with Google Drive and it's easy to do. All you've got to do is authenticate with Google Drive. You know the drill, you log into your Google account, you authenticate and that's it. It's pretty seamless. Now you don't change any of the settings on this page except give a name for basically where the backup's going to sit. And I would put something that kind of names where it sits, so say Google underscore and then put the name of the website. If you just keep calling everything Google, Google Drive, you're going to get a little bit confused later on. So something like that should be absolutely fine and then just click add now. It will now appear down here and you can click the cog to change the settings at any time. Let's now click backup and restore. Ensure that this is selected with database and files and rather than having save backups to local, we're gonna put send backup to remote storage. It is already gonna be going over to Google Drive because that is selected there and then we click backup. That took about 15 seconds and if I scroll down, I can see the backup over here. I have the option now to download it. So maybe I now wanna stick it in a separate drive on my computer or storage area and I can also hit restore now when you hit restore it will literally restore so if you imagine you've logged into your website and you've done an update or something has happened or files have gone missing you can now use your backup hit restore and it will restore everything back to that point in time this is why it's super important to stay safe you also have the option to upload as well. So where you've downloaded, you would click upload, drop the file into here, and again, restore. Now you don't wanna be doing this manually all the time. It's much better to have it set on a schedule and it happens automatically, especially if you're an e-commerce store with customer details and orders that have been purchased. Go over to scheduled and this is where you can now set up a backup schedule. There are quite a few options over here. So you might decide you wanna go for daily, every 12 hours. Again, ensure that your database and files are selected and again, ensure that it is going to a remote storage and again, hit save changes. The backup and restore is an amazing feature of WP Vivid, but you can't ignore another one, which is auto migration. Let's pretend this is website number one and I've got website number two, but I wanna move everything in website one over to website two. I can do that really easily. Go over to website number two, install WP Vivid, go over to this option here called key, and hit generate. A key will then be generated. Copy that key. Go back over to website one, the original website. Go over to auto migration, paste in the key, click save, scroll down here, and then click clone, then transfer. And what will happen is everything in website one will be moved over to website two. It will be your passwords, your plugins, your settings, the entire website. Super, super cool. But that's not all. There is another super feature of this plugin that I've just got to tell you about. 
there is an option down here called staging. If you've got lots of plugins or updates going on, it's very easy for something to corrupt, for incompatibility, for something just to stop working. So we always recommend that before you update to the latest version of WordPress or your page builder or any other tool you're using, where you're a little bit worried about what might happen to your website, if you go and click update, you can go over here and you can create a staging site. Click create a staging site. You don't really have to rename anything. You can if you want, but you know, it's entirely up to you. Just be careful on your naming convention and then hit create now. And once that's done, I can now click this link, go and log in to my staging area, update my plugins, install a new plugin, modify, change things around. And if everything is good and well, I can come back to my original site and just go through the motions again. How easy was that? WP Vivid on the WordPress repository for free, backups, restore, migration, and staging sites. You can't go wrong with it. This is probably my favorite tool right now that I will be strongly recommending to everyone. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame. There's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.